Hey everyone, Angelo here. Welcome to another design tutorial. Today we're going to be discussing how to create threaded text frames in your InDesign project. This will allow you to flow text seamlessly through your uh, layout and link up these text frames as well. So we're going to get into that. I'm going to show you how to create your own custom color palette using the color theme tool. We'll sample some colors from different images and then create our own color palette much like you see here on my screen. So let's get right into it. Here is what we're going to apply, apply to our um, layout. So as you can see here, I have a text frame. They're two separate frames. That's because I've threaded them, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just select both of them and let's delete it. I'm gonna put my guides on and this is just a half letter uh, setup. So I'm just gonna show you very quickly that I'm working on a letter half, eight and a half by five and a half landscape orientation. And that's uh, 0.5 standard margins, okay? So normally what you would do if you were putting in a text frame, I would go to my text type tool, draw a box like so, click on it, and then go down to your uh, text frame options down below here and then maybe make it two columns that's that's fine there are some restrictions there in terms of um, moving the text boxes around separately and then easily flowing it like I'm about to show you so uh, let me delete that again and zoom in now as I'm drawing out my text box there's an added shortcut here so click left click and hold and while you're 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 still dragging out your text box just simply press the right arrow key on your tech on your keyboard and you'll see that see what's happening there it's threading that specific text frame so that's three columns that's four you can keep going and going but in this case i want two okay so i'm going to do that so as you can see there now these two boxes are linked together Okay, so now if I go click on the first one, go to File, Place, and go grab, um, I have a text page two copy. I'm gonna hit Open, and there's my loaded text frame. When I click on this first box, you'll see it flows very nicely into that second, okay? Now this text fits already, and I'm gonna show you how to link it up to another text box. Let's just say that you want it to jump one story and bring it into uh, another frame on a separate page. We'll get into that in a second. So like I said, you can still move these text boxes around, okay? And they're still linked together, all right? So that's that's uh, a simple way of, of linking those text frames together using the te threaded text shortcut, okay? So down below here, I have another one. This one's gonna be a little bit uh, uh, there's a few extra steps here because as you can see if I zoom in down below here I do have some overset text so there's more text spilling over and I don't I want that to jump to another page okay so let's again I'm just gonna delete that I'm gonna grab my type tool and again I'm gonna drag to what I want and then just click don't release your mouse and then go ahead and hit the right arrow key. I do want it two columns, then you can release. Now there's a couple ways of doing this. I want to carry over this copy onto this last page, which I've, I've left open here down below this image. I want the copy to keep running, the leftovers uh, copy, to run right under this image here, okay? So what I could do, is just create um, another text frame. So I'll start at this margin, go all the way across, and thread that to four columns because I want it to uh, I want it to flow with the column system that I've already created here on this page. So four columns is fine. Now, if I import text in here, it's still going to spill over, and there will be some overset text. There's an added step here. So what I'm gonna do is zoom in, click here, and I wanna click this little icon here. See this little white square? I'm gonna click that. Now there's no copy in this box yet, and that's okay. I'm gonna go down to this, uh, this text frame, threaded text frame, four columns that I've created, and click that. 
first one, now I know the minute I import text in here, it's going to flow nicely right into the bottom um, on this last page. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to click this first text frame, go up to File and Place, and now I want to click on this one, Morocco, Morocco Murals, hit Open. I'm going to drop it in there. Okay, so as you can see, my text is not formatted. That's okay. I'm going to select all, and I do have a paragraph style here that I've set up called Body Copy. And there you go. See how it went right through? So I've linked those boxes beforehand. Now, you could, you could import this text before and then link the boxes. I just like doing it beforehand so I know for sure once I import it, it flows into all the text boxes that I've linked up, all right? So that's how you would create threaded text frames and the beauty of this is um, if I do any edits here, let's say I just maybe delete a paragraph, that's going to affect down here, okay? So keep that in mind. So if you had overset text on this second one and you want to edit it, edit some text up here, it's going to take effect throughout all those linked text boxes, okay? So that's how you would create that, those threaded text frames, very useful and a great shortcut, okay? Now I'm going to show you how to create a color palette like this. So basically I'll use, actually let's go to that last page and let's build our own color palette based on this image, okay? And um, yeah, we can put it somewhere else, that's fine. Okay, so as you see here on my swatches panel, if you don't have swatches, just go up to Window, Color, Swatches. And I just, I tore it off my panel here so I can show you. I've built these color swatch themes on page two, page three, page four, page five. And now I'm on page six. So let's build a, let's build our own color swatch theme here, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go to my color theme tool. Generally, your eyedropper tool will, will default on this setting. Um, just either hit Shift I to get to the color theme or just click and hold for the fly out and then you can select the color theme tool. All right, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna click over my image. See how I have a nice red border, that's good. Now if I click on my image, what InDesign does for me is it puts together this color palette um, swatch theme and there's a few themes to choose from. The first one will be colorful, then there's bright, dark, and you can click on them to, to see which one you like, which one works best for you. I'm going to go with uh, this deep one, looks pretty good, actually no, let's go with bright. Bright seems good. And then to the right of the theme selector, you can actually add this swatch. So add this theme, add this theme to the swatches. I'm gonna click yes. And it's just gonna come in as bright theme. And what I usually do is just rename it. So if you're doing this on multiple pages throughout a document, it's important to uh, name these themes just so you know which ones you're dealing with. Um, so this would be page six swatch. And then I would just hit okay. And what I would do here, I'm just going to go click this, Command C, and I'm going to, I'm just going to delete that for a second. Okay, I'm going to go Control or Command V. And so this palette doesn't match up with the image, and generally I would just create these ellipse, little ellipse shapes, and then update the, the colors with uh, my new swatch theme. But because I already have the, the uh, ellipse shapes intact here, I'm just going to copy and update them here. So I'll click my first one, click on the second, and I've only used four colors even though it saves five, so that's okay. That. And the last one, sure. Good, so there would be my color palette right there based on this image. 
So it's good to use the, the color theme tool to sample colors from different graphics, patterns, images. It's just a great tool to use. And the beauty of this as well, if I go to my page six swatch here, let me double click this first one. I can go in and update that color and you can see, look at this first ellipse here, it's changing in real time. So let's just say I didn't want to use that magenta. Um, I could change it to purple. I can make it darker. Um, you can also change the different types of uh, color modes, but because this is a print uh, publication, print purposes, I'm gonna leave it for CMYK. I'm just gonna hit cancel because I'm gonna leave it. Just know that you can update these in real time by double clicking the swatch and then changing um, the sliders to your preference. They edit globally, which is great. Okay, so that's today's tutorial. We covered how to create threaded text frames and I showed you how to create your own custom color palette using the color theme tool and saving that theme in your swatches um, for your pro the project that you're working on, okay? Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we'll talk to you soon. Have a great day, bye now.